Hi, Andrew Chris is here of Audio Bro. I'd like to show you a teaser of an, an exciting new and exclusive feature of LA Scoring Strings we call the Auto Arranger. This is a groundbreaking script lovingly written by Gabor Valashek, a valuable part of the Audio Bro team. The Auto Arranger is the first script of its kind to bring you, among other things, auto divisi of discreetly recorded divisi string ensemble samples and will allow you to retain your real legato portamento and glissando articulations, um, intelligently track your voice leading, and all this while keeping your actual ensemble sizes to the correct number of players. In other words, with Auto Arranger you can play chords with several lines at once, on one MIDI channel if you want, and Auto Arranger will intelligently split your chords and performance into divisi parts. This can be a huge time saver as well as a very inspirational composing tool. So watch the keyboard at the bottom of the video to see exactly what's being played and how Auto Arranger tracks the performance. In this video, we'll start from the bottom up. We'll start with the cellos, then the violas, and then the violins. Since basses aren't used very much in Divisi, we'll skip those for now. But first, to gain an interesting perspective, let's play some chords on a piano and then hear how it would sound if we played it through LA scoring strings using the Auto Arranger. Here's some chords on a piano first. Now let's hear how something like that would sound through LA scoring strings using the auto arranger. Keep in mind we're just listening to the cellos now. We have the first chair and the three ensemble Divisi patches all set to the same MIDI channel. So again, only cellos. Okay, uh, that was me playing, plunking away on the keyboards. I, I'm not a keyboardist, so my apologies. Uh, but it's an accurate representation. And some of you might have noticed that the keys were not lit up very long on the MIDI keyboard at the bottom of the screen. That's because I'm holding down the sustain pedal. This is a great feature. You hold down the sustain pedal and you can plunk away at chords and they stayed connected. The chords stay connected and the voice leading is figured out on the fly appropriately so you don't have to overlap notes and all that stuff to make things sound beautiful. Okay, next we'll play violas. Uh, we'll start off with a solo line uh, just to show you that the auto arranger can play regular legato. Next, we'll play a similar melody with two voices. Uh, listen to how the ensemble size is kept at um, 12 players, um, even when you're playing two voices. Okay, we've played single and two-part harmony phrases. Let's see what happens when we play a three-part harmony uh, with exactly the same patch and settings on the auto arranger.
Okay, now let's see what happens when you play uh, single notes followed by two notes back to single notes, kind of like a single double note ostinato phrase. See, the script followed what you were playing and maintained the player count. Gabor did a tremendous job with the script, and there's a lot of things to get into. And as I said at the top of this video, this is just a teaser video. And later on, we'll be putting out some instructional videos. Uh, but right now, I'll, let's get to the violins and play some chords and phrases. Okay, what, what I did there is I just plonked down a few chords, but because I held down the sustain pedal, I was able to get that wonderful sound. Here's how it would sound if I just played it without holding down the sustain pedal. So for players like myself who are not very good, it allows me to search for my next chord while holding down the sustain pedal and the auto arranger automatically glues the notes together and figures out the voicings and um, makes it sound terrific. So imagine what it would do in the hands of a actual, a really good keyboardist. Since you've watched the video to this point, uh, let me give you a bird's eye on a couple of the features that the auto arranger has to offer. If you look at the auto arranger button, you'll see there's an on off button and right beneath it, there's a auto arranger bypass controller. It's set by default to CC30, uh, but you can change that to whatever you want. Make sure that you don't have any conflicts going on with the other CC assignments with the LA scoring strings. But what you'll be spending most of your time in is this drop down right here. Basically, we've taken all the complicated guesswork out for you and we've assigned, we've put together uh, some presets that I believe, that we believe, you will basically be using 90% of the time. Um, you have an A and three part, which basically these three part, uh, these three part um, presets right here allow you to play anything up to three parts. Here, this will allow you to play four parts. We'll get into these details in another video. And for those who are really brave, you can get into the, ex we can go into the expert mode right here and you can say, well, I want to do like a 13 note harmony or an eight note harmony. I mean, Gabor really went to town on this thing. And you can say, if not present, play the first or plays the closest note. There's all these, and then if this is not, you can play, have play octave above or octave below. You can do great open voicings with this. Um, but for right now, we're just doing the teaser. So I hope you enjoyed what you watched and I hope you get a better sense of what the auto arranger does. I didn't even go into how you can split it up to different sections so you can play basses, cellos, violins, and violas all in the same MIDI channel and have it play legato and, and basically follow your, your voice leading and just do um, things you were, that were never able to be done before with sampled strings. Well, I really uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, glean a little bit more out of what the auto arranger does. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care.